Why is nature so diverse? If evolution by natural selection is about survival of the fittest, why, after billions of years, do we still see differences within the same species? Also, why do we have sex? If I could just clone myself, I could spread my genes much faster because all of my offspring could have more offspring. With sex, basically half of my offspring will just be sperm delivery devices. So, why so much diversity and why so much sex? Well, there's a theory called the Red Queen Hypothesis, which claims the answer to both of these questions is parasites. Now, you may already know the Red Queen from the Alice in Wonderland books. At one point, the Red Queen tells Alice, it takes all the running you can do to keep in the same place. But what does this have to do with parasites? Well, the Red Queen theory predicts that when hosts and parasites fight, they follow one main rule, being common is bad. Okay, so imagine I'm a parasite and my hosts are M&Ms, but I can only infect yellow M&Ms. Now imagine my host population looks like this. There's yellow and blue, but yellow is more common. Well, this is great. I can grow big and strong and make more parasites like myself. It's a bad day to be a yellow M&M. But now, as the yellows get taken out by me and my parasite posse, the blues will start to rise, and soon the population will look more like this. Lots of blue, not much yellow. Now, what if there's another parasite that can only infect blue M&Ms? Mr. Blue will make his own crew, and, he'll, and, the, and they'll spread throughout the population, but only until they start bringing their host numbers down, and then the yellows can rise again, and then the cycle continues, back and forth, parasites and hosts rising and falling indefinitely. It takes all the running you can do to keep in the same place, says the Red Queen. Now, in this race of coevolution, there are no winners. Yellow is no better or worse than blue. They're just different. And this is how the population can stay diverse. Because being common is bad, it's hard for any one type of host or parasite to take over completely. Now, as for sex, imagine that a yellow and a blue M&M get together and make a green M&M. First of all, it's not common, so that's good. And it's new. This M&M and all of its babies will live parasite-free for now. So, even though parasites are not our friends, the Red Queen tells us that we can still thank parasites for helping to keep the world such a wonderfully diverse place and for encouraging us to have sex.